And welcome back, folks, to yet another exciting episode of Fallout 3. Yeah, this is a building in Fort's church. While uploading, I noticed that we missed something. This, of course, is the place where we uh, saved one of the Brother of Steel initiates from a bunch of super mutants. And yes, atop of this desk with the safe underneath it, there's a tumblers today. Eh, guess we don't really need it at this point, but... You know, for completion's sake, I figure, let's pick it up and use it. Anyway, it's about time we, uh, move on. What does that mean exactly? Well, I think we've done pretty much all of the main and side missions, with the exception of this one. And maybe a couple of, uh infinite quests as well as maybe one more side mission that will come into play later on. Anyway, the, ca the, the point is this. We've done almost anything that can be done. I'm sure we missed a ton of stuff, especially in terms of, uh, you know, loot, optional stuff and, and skill books and whatnot. But most of the content I hope we've covered so far. There's some more stuff to do in Olney. I remember that we didn't go underground there, but we'll probably deal with that later on. For now, we should probably continue on with our main mission, which is, of course, the content of the Brotherhood of Steel uh, DLC called Broken Steel. I wonder what that could mean. Let's go to the Citadel now. It's certainly an ominous title, isn't it, Broken Steel? Well, anyway, let us talk to the guys. If I remember correctly, um, Rothschild basically wanted some more of our help. Um, not right now. But he wanted some more of our help uh, when it came to uh, fighting the remaining Enclave soldiers. All this crap. I guess we can use that. I think I understand what you're saying, sir. When I calm down and focus, I don't see anything but the target. You're not quite as worthless as you look. Remember, if you overthink combat, you're dead. You have to want to survive more than your enemy. I understand, sir. Like you said, fill your soul with thunder. Fight with the heart of steel. The brother who taught me was a wise man, initiate. But even will requires practice. Back on point. Okay, that was very inspirational and all that. Anyway. Uh, yeah. So, of course, uh, when we finished the main storyline... Uh, well, the storyline of the main game, rather. And took back and fixed Project Purity. Um... Well, with Raven Rock destroyed as well, the Enclave are basically routed. Or so we thought. But there's still remnants everywhere, and we come across uh, outposts here and there, and apparently they have more troops still in other locations. And of course, um, the Brotherhood is fighting them in a more organized fashion than we ever could on our own. But Rothschild would like Welcome. our help, if I remember correctly. I haven't talked to this guy in a couple of days in-game. In game days, at least. Probably a couple of months in real days, but that doesn't matter. Let's talk to the guy. Uh, no, that's not talking. I'm um, sorry. Uh, put that away, please. Wait. There we go. Sorry. You messing up some buttons. With your presence here. I know, I'm just that awesome. Also, I take your water. Okay, Rothschild, what's your deal? Is that a cookie? I want a cookie. Well, it's good to see that you're on your feet again. Thank you. I assume Lyons is immediately throwing you to the wolves? Has he told you what's been going on while you've been resting? Well, I did help Bigsley a lot. 
Uh, but maybe you could give, help me some more. Yeah, tell me more, please. Yes, I believe I can. Step over here for a moment, will you? Okay. Ah, his favorite map. It is kind of cool I'll with that magnifying glass. What's happened over the last few weeks and what's going on now? All right. As you well know, this all began with the Enclave's occupation of Project Purity here. Thanks to you, their main headquarters here was utterly destroyed. Up there. They then suffered a second defeat at the Purifier. Based on a combination of intelligence and field reports, other Enclave locations throughout the Wasteland were found. Yeah. Cut off from their leadership, it was expected that their forces would be in complete disarray. You honor this us with your presence here. Case. Out of the way, dude. Based on data and tech gathered from these locations, we've determined that the Enclave forces are still maintaining remote communications. Huh. We isolated the transmissions and found their origin point, an old military installation in Rockland to the southwest. Our advanced scouts have checked over the area, but no easy access to the facility was found. So we're making our own access point. Paladin Tristan is leading the team setting up a forward base in an old car tunnel near the site. Once he's settled, Liberty Prime will be deployed. Prime's directive is to neutralize their defenses and create an entry point for the team. The team will move in, eliminate any opposition inside, and cut off their transmitter. Any relevant data should be brought back here. Now, did you have any other questions? Huh. So, yeah, that's the purifier. That's what Raven Rock used to be, and these are the little outposts that we encountered every now and then. I think we visited them all at some point. Or well, maybe not this one. But this one definitely, this one, and this one. And that, of course, is the tunnel that he was referring to. So that's our next uh, goal, I suppose. People keep walking in front of the map. It's really annoying. Interrupting important hey. briefings like that. Okay, let's talk again. If there's anything else you'd like to know, I'll tell you what I can. Otherwise... Paladin Tristan will be waiting. I'll alert right. him that you're on your way. Uh, how is Liberty Prime doing? I mean, didn't seem to take much damage. Performance is exceeding all our expectations. Well, that's good. He's been especially effective against the Enclave's vertebrates, for which we previously had no counter. We are fine-tuning his programming as we go, but on the whole, I'm pleasantly surprised. It's as I always suspected. Prime's real issue was energy management. And when Dr. Lee helped us solve that problem, well, <laughs> the rest was easy. Cool. Hmm. Huh. Yeah, I, I suppose taking down vertebrates would take rocket launchers and whatnot. And the laser gun that Liberty Prime has is just way more effective. How about the purifier? It was determined that the Brotherhood should directly oversee the purifier, as so as to prevent any mishaps. Right. Scribe Bigsley was placed in charge of the operation, and is directly overseeing our efforts. We know him. Huh. What about the super mutants? Any news on them? Not really. No. Okay, I guess they're still at large, but not that big a problem compared to the Enclave at this point. And so you go. Right. Well, and so you go. Uh, yeah, okay. I, I suppose we have a new mission. Uh, disrupt Enclave communications. Take out their base, which is apparently at the center of these communications. I'll t just take that. And uh, deliver data back here about the communication setup, I suppose. Well, that's all nice and good, but uh, it sounds like it's going to be uh, a major hub of Enclave activity. So we should probably, after all, um, get some better equipment. So, tell you what. We'll quickly head back to Megaton and I'll see what we can pick up. Maybe something we haven't used too much yet.
I mean, I do strive for variety, so... And, and honestly, while this storyline is not short, the Broken Steel storyline... Oh no, another pamphlet. The main storyline really is not short. Not at all. But... Um, I don't think it'll take us that long either, anyway. Good morning, sir! So these will probably be our last chances to try new things, really. Let's see what we can do. Toxify, new compound, please, and I suppose we can also heal ourselves. I, I don't really know. I guess maybe we took some damage. Probably not a lot. Most just doing it out of habit at this point. Alright, what do we have? Well, I don't really need that. That. Honestly, this one is mostly fun. I mean, we did use it last time, but it's not that effective. Also, aiming it without vets is kind of horrible. The sword is a nice gimmick, but yeah, compared to a shish kebab, it doesn't hold up. Victory rifle is interesting. May want to hold on to it, but I don't quite know. You know, we, we, we might just want to try out an alien disintegrator against the Enclave. Uh, hmm. We haven't really done that, have we? On the other hand, it's not that... I mean, we did use that gun a ton. Almost exclusively in, uh, in the mothership. So we're kind of used to that too. I'll definitely bring some, some of these bottle cap mines. After all, they are very powerful. Even though I mostly hurt myself when I use them. I guess we didn't use the captain's sidearm very much, so let's take that instead of the disintegrator. What else do we have? Cryo grenades. Honestly, these gun, uh, these, these cryo weapons, they are a nice little uh, feature, I suppose. But you saw them in action way back. They are not really useful. Really not. Over shotgun. I'm kind of looking for something we didn't use a lot. Gatling laser. Gauss rifle. I don't think we used the Gatling laser a lot. That we. You know, that may be an option. Obviously, we're not going to use the... And we did use this gun a lot, honestly. The repeater. Uh, obviously, we're not going to use the standard... Uh, Gatling laser when we have the option of taking something else. So why don't we why don't we bring the unique one that we have? Yeah, I guess we can take some more grenades. Again, the nuclear grenades are obviously way more powerful, so we're gonna bring some of those as well. But I have to use some of these plasma grenades, otherwise they're completely pointless in my stash, aren't they? Still need a melee weapon of some sort. I guess Jack isn't a bad option. Now that we have alien epoxy, we can repair him at any point either. Or two, I mean. Is it? I mean, I mean, Jack is obviously a male name, but Jack is a thing in this game. I mean, it's, it's a ripper. So, should I say repair him or should I say repair it? Because I'm not sure. I like the shotgun, but we use that a lot too in the past. This of course is the unique Gatling laser, so we're gonna take that. And this one is crap. You may remember this gun is a prototype that sets enemies on fire, but it really sucks. Uh, I guess the, the man opener wouldn't be a bad choice. Where is it? Maybe it's just man opener. Um, especially because it ignores uh, the protection from armor and the Enclave guys obviously wear power armor so that would be helpful. I'm just gonna drop this stuff, I don't really care at this point. Oh right, all these wigs. Definitely have to try one of those out. Oops. Let's see here. Oh yeah, that looks great. Looks like it's made of plastic or something. Yeah, I don't really care for that. 
So yeah, it's a usual, you know, dropping stuff off, checking to see. I mean, this is good enough. We can repair it with armor we get along the way. Bakura, I don't really need that. Bakura, I don't need that either. <laughs> it's the same stuff. No, wait, it's not. I mean, we did learn what Aqua Pura really is, which is dirty water, so it's not even Aqua Pura, it's worse than Aqua Pura. Okay. Still have a lot of junk I carry around. Probably should have done it off screen, but I'm sorry, I didn't even know this was still in my inventory. Uh, sure. Oh, I'm completely messing up my uh, storage system, aren't I? Well, I can't be bothered at this point. Sorry, folks. It's alright. Uh, I can do this later on. Anyway. So I think we should be alright. We have one sidearm, we have a melee weapon, and we have a main gun. Yeah, and a lot of grenades. Let's get vengeance equipped, shall we? There we go. Right. Honestly, we probably don't even need such a big weapon, <laughs> what with Liberty Prime there to have our back, but... I suppose it, uh, it doesn't hurt either. Anyway, yes, you may remember ages ago I said that this place uh, would become significant later on. Well, that point is now, because uh, Brother of Steel is here now, and it is... One of the locations for the uh, for the uh, broken steel DLC. So let's see here. Good to see you. Hey, he has a Gatling laser too. Hey, you're awake. All right, Paladin Tristan is just inside. He's waiting for you. Cool. He's just a knight, but at least he has power armor. Looks familiar. Ooh, lots of stuff. You know, as always, we can take it and just drop it off if we don't need it anymore. But, you know, old habits die hard. Uh, I just like looting, even when I don't even need it anymore. What could possibly be hidden here that I don't already have in spades back in Megaton? But that's alright. Well, Nuka Cola is always nice too. So. Right. Ooh, nice tunnel. Oh, hey there. He followed us. Okay. Guess I can understand that. Don't quite know what's up with these crates. I mean, they have the Brother of Steel symbol on them, but they're still closed. So, what is this? Supplies? Maybe. Look at that. This looks like stuff from the Enclave, honestly. Yeah, it's Enclave tech. So, I suppose they took this over from the Enclave. After all, the turret is aiming in this direction and not in that direction. Right, so um, they probably just... Ooh. Yeah, yeah, here the Enclave. And they're all naked because they stole the power arm, obviously. You know... We've got this area locked down. Right. You know, you don't really need to work on this guy. I'll just take all this power armor. Thank you very much. It's kind of well, weird. Well, well, look who's back amongst the living. Right. Some of us were starting to wonder if you and Sarah were going to pull through. You're right. It's kind of weird considering how many Enclave people were killed. And yes, I did loot a lot of them, but... You'd, you'd think that some of the Brotherhood people would be wearing Enclave power armor by now. Rather than the older versions that they still wear. Uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. So you're in charge now, huh? Until Sarah gets back on her feet, I'm running the Pride. It's just temporary. Right. But for now, I'm calling the shots. You were just about to mobilize since everything's in place. Okay. Uh, maybe you can ask some more things. Well, we've got a bit of time. What's on your mind? Uh, 
how harsh is Enclave resistance? Not like they did at the Purifier, no. We got the sense that after you took care of their headquarters, they didn't have anyone to give orders. So they haven't been as coordinated. Some surrendered, some tried to hold out. It's all ended the same. But don't let that fool you. If we can keep the pressure on them, we win. If not, we give them a chance to reorganize. Well, we don't want that to happen, do we? What does that mean, it's all ended the same way? Did he just imply that they killed the Enclave who surrendered? Or is he just talking about it ending in victory? Because that would be pretty dark. Killing the basically prisoners of war, that, that, that would be harsh. What happened at the Purifier? Well, you saw most of the fighting outside. The sure. robot paved the way for us. We just mopped up the opposition while you and Sarah headed inside. After that, hell if I know, once we'd locked down the perimeter and gotten word that the Purifier was running, we headed in to look for you. Found you and Sarah both unconscious, and got you back to the Citadel as fast as we could. Right. So, what's after this, then? We'll strip the place for any usable tech, like always. Anything after that depends on what we find in there. If there's any information about other Enclave positions, we'll send that back to the Citadel and come up with a plan. But, like I said, we're pretty sure this is the last big holdout. Right. Although they're still getting reinforcements via Vertebird, aren't they? So, maybe this is the place they're coming from. Hmm, we'll see. Okay, it's about time to move out. Right. It's been pretty standard for the last week or so. We get intel on positions, go in and burn them out. So, the usual then. Already. The tin <laughs> can does most idea. of the work, honestly. I can't complain, it keeps our casualties down. Right. Scribes pulled information about this place. They don't. Oh, yes. Some communications facility. Yeah, Rothschild told us about that. I want to loot. Come on. We're thinking if it's active, we can find out who they're talking to and get the last of the locations nailed down. Right. Okay, so I think this is like a point of no return, so... Yeah, we're not gonna follow just yet. Instead, we're gonna quickly head back and see if there's anything else. Okay, so the other soldiers are also mobilizing, clearly. That's all right. Not gonna complain about that. Just wanna see I don't miss anything. I can already tell we're gonna have to drop a whole bunch of stuff. Oh, look at all this power armor. Everything's going to waste. Yeah. Wow, they killed a lot of people here. So I can only assume this is like hey, uh, be more careful. Of what? The corpses? I can only assume this is like uh, basically a choke hold that the uh, not a choke hold, uh, uh, you know, you know, uh, li like a bottleneck that the enclave also used for defensive purposes. But obviously now it's in the hand of the uh, Brotherhood instead. At least I can repair all this stuff. So that's a lot less to carry already. Yeah, this will be problematic. I'll have to drop a lot of stuff, probably. That's all right. I'm just doing this out of habit at this point anyway, but I don't want the sledgehammer or that. Right. Okay, let's follow now. What are these jokers doing? Is that a dance? Actually, I think they're like fixing their armor or something. Yeah, they're, they're working on the uh, trying out the the joints and all that. And now they're leaving. Okay, so they're they're being sent off one by one once the uh, scribe checks all the equipment. Apparently. Okay, let let's go now. It's about damn time. Here's Tristan now. Okay. 
This is gonna be easy. Look at that. Liberty Prime is already. Wait. Okay. I'm not even sure what I'm gonna do here. I guess I'm gonna loot. Is a, is a lie. It's probably the best thing I can do at this point. Tesla armor, that's always nice. Oh, this is not gonna be fun. I'll just have to leave stuff behind, I feel. Embrace democracy, or you will be eradicated. Wow, this is so easy. Can't believe how easy this is. There we go, break everything. Communist threat assessment. Minimal. Scanning defenses. <laughs> Structural weakness detected. Take it down. Communist target acquired. Look at this, it's a joke. Anchorage will be liberated. It's supposed to be at all threatening. Come on. Let's just keep going. Oh, well now he's punching Satellite right through. Outbreak. Detected. Analysis of communist transmission pending. What? A transmission? Warning. Warning. Red Chinese orbital strike imminent. What? All personnel should reach minimum safe distance. What? Immediately. Orbital strike? What the hell? No. Oh no! What the hell was that? System failure. Initiating core shutdown as per emergency initiative 2682209. I die so that democracy. The hell? We need to find out what the hell just happened. They There's no time to happened. talk. Get your ass inside that base and help the troops locate the source of their transmission. Now, soldier, now! Soldier. He just had a typo. Whatever. Uh, what am I looking for exactly? I don't know. I don't know. Terminals, data, anything that can help us figure out what just happened. Where it came from. I know what happened. Liberty Prime got... Taken down by an orbital strike. Chinese victory. Impossible. I suppose, unless they have more of those strikes, they just took down Liberty Prime and a whole squad of uh, Brother of Steel people, by the way, who were right around here. Well, and Enclave soldiers, I guess. Mostly Enclave, actually. Alright, well, um, that takes care of our biggest advantage, really.